Hey, good day, everyone. Um, today, I want to do a video on uh, powering up your equipment and using Power Essence. So what that is, is uh, we have this building right here in the middle of my screen called the uh, Gear Workshop. I'll go ahead and click there. And you're able to, you know, the primary purpose of this building is to power up your equipment. So I'm going to click on the more information just to show you the levels. So um, I suggest that we you try to get this to level 17, because at level 17, you could, if you look at the the second to left column, at level 17, you could get up to the max normal equipment power up boost, which is 10. Um, past that, you know, 18 and on, it's going to increase your ability to power up your core items. But, you know, I would initially recommend trying to get this up to 17 so you could actually um, power up your uh, normal gear. So let me show you what powering up does or what it looks like. So to get to the screen, you would click the, you would press the first power up option. And I'll give you an example, right? If you have something like um, this normal item, right, the that hasn't been previously powered up. So I have a Shogun's Kabuto. If you look at the power up level information at the bottom, it tells you this powers up attack bonus. So each item has a specific power up stat that it could power up, right? For this for this item, it's tr attack bonus, and you notice how um, it goes from you know it's one to two, and then two to four, but as you go from one level to the next, it gets incrementally higher. So the last step from 9 to 10, you're jumping 5% attack bonus, which is nice. It's a nice. So ultimately, you have 25% attack bonus. If you have seven items, you know, um, depending on the stack, if you're if you're working at, it could be pretty, it could be a pretty good benefit. I, the, however, each level does get more and more expensive, right? Um, if you notice, I'm not wearing any power essence equipment, right? Powering equipment right now, but to get the to get to a plus one bonus on this item, it would require 17,857 power essence. I currently have 25,972, so I could power this up, but I don't really use this set of gear, so I don't power this up. What I try to do, what, what I'm currently trying to do is power up my defense equipment, and I'm specifically targeting some of these Frost Lords items. And then, um, so the, you know, the, the three Frost Lords, one of them is the Frost Lords wielders. I currently have it at a level five, um, which had given me, I think it's a plus three at this point, or maybe it was a plus eight. Okay, it was a plus eight so far, right? So the next boost would be to a plus to an overall ten, and then ultimately, if I get to ten, uh, level ten, it would be a twenty five percent, right? Um, and this one, the first step also costs like seventeen thousand power essence, but the next step to go from a five to a six, it's going to require one hundred seventy eight thousand five hundred seventy one power essence. That's that's quite a bit of um, power essence. So. Um, there's a way to reduce that, though. Um, there's a certain gear set known as the Power Shaman gear set, and that will actually reduce the Power Essence cost. So let me show you that. I actually crafted a set of the Power the power Shaman gear. I didn't get the level 6 gear, but even at the, the gear level I got, um, it gave a pretty good uh, reduction in cost. So let me show you that. So just recall, so notice it's requiring 178,000 Essence to go one level. So let me... Go ahead and put on my um, Shaman gear, right? So I'll scroll down until I get to my gear power up preset. So notice it's a mix of uh, level four, five, and level three even, right? But when I equip that, um, now I'm now I have equipment on that will allow me to, you know, the power Shaman gear, and that will give me I, I believe an overall fifty percent boost. Um, in reducing costs. So if I go back in here, notice my cost is halved. It went from 178, I believe, or 170 something to 86,000. I, I recall it was right around 50%. So it only cost me half as much as it typically would cost. And if you actually have level six power shaman gear, the cost, I believe, is like 90% reduction, which is quite significant. Um, and this is the gear set. If you want to craft that gear set, um, you could go to the forge. Look for the power shaman under the set gear. Almost there, I believe. I think it's closer to the bottom. Or it might be at the top. Can't recall. Here it is. Power shaman gear. So um, if you're at a so I have a mixed set, right? Meaning I have a mixed quality set, but if you're at level six, right? Um, you can see here 15% cost reduction on the head, another 20% cost reduction on the armor, so that's 35 total. Let me add this, 35 plus 9 is 44, plus 25 is 69, plus 7 is 
76, I think. Okay, so maybe not 90%. Oh, but, you know, actually. So it would be 76. And then you could do two other accessories. So 76 plus 14 would be 90%. So yeah. So if you have a full seven-piece set, um, which is head, so head, breast, feet, weapon, and three accessories, it would be 90%. So the other thing I want to, so in terms of power essence, so you require what's called power essence and um, you require power essence and raw power. So power essence, um, I'm not sure how you get raw power, but I haven't run out of it yet, but I ran out of power essence pretty quickly. And there's one, so you could get power essence from packs by purchasing packs. I think I've seen them in some events before, so I've gotten some through events. Another way is you actually get power essence when you break down other equipment. Um, and let me show you what I mean by that. So um, if I actually go to my inventory and I pick something I no longer want, I'm not going to actually break this, but I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example. So if you actually click the red break item, it would actually return a material to you and also some power essence. Okay. And just to demonstrate that, I'm actually going to craft something. And this is a trick. If you don't want to buy a pack and you can't find them through events, and you just have a lot of materials on hand to craft some um, really uh, basic legendary equipment, you could actually craft equipment, break it down to get the power essence. So I'll show you how to do that. So you go to craft equipment, and um, you could then go to foot armor. Foot armor has a lot. So if you go to the foot armor section, if you scroll towards the bottom, so the trick is to get all the way um, right before it tells you you can't craft an item. So if you go all the way to the bottom, and you see when I see the X, I know it's right above that. So um, there's a there's like a half dozen items. So there's the leather skirt. They're all 1,250 gold um, silver. So the leather skirt, the cloth sandals, the cloth skirt, and slippers, the leather boots, the sandals, the cloth boots. Okay. So those items, if you craft any of those, and I actually like to pick the ones with just two materials so I get more. If you craft any of these and then you break it down, you get power essence. And you get the most from legendary equipment. So what you want to look for is where you could craft it like this, where it shows you um, you have equipment to craft the, hundred, the level six item. So I'm going to go ahead and craft. And there's a trick to this too, because typically when you craft, it takes you back to the, the base screen and you have to go back through all the menus. But if, if you do this in a certain way, you, you could actually um, use like a 15 minute speed up or so, and then you'll, it'll stay on the screen. So you could do like 50 right, you know, um, in a row. And I've done that before. So I've unlocked a bunch of inventory presets. And what I do is I sit here and I'll go ahead and craft an item, speed it up, craft another one over and over again until I run out of material. So I'll just do a couple just to show what I, how I do it. So I'll go ahead and craft this. And right now it shows because I have four of the feathers and three of the leather, I could do three total, right? Because it uses one of each, and the lowest common denominator is the uh, leather. So I'll craft it. Okay. I'll go back to the previous screen. I'll click the craft again. It tells me I have to speed up. So I go ahead and speed up. In this case, I have to use, because I didn't put on my other equipment that reduces crafting speed, I'll go ahead and just do the speed up. It takes me back to this screen, and I could craft the second one right, right away. Okay. And I just repeat that until I've gotten the number I need. Okay, so you use speed ups, but you get um, the power essence, which is pretty important. So now that I have the power essence, I could go to my foot armor screen. I could choose the um, leather boots, right? And be careful on the screen because if you pick something like your Glacier King boots and you break it, you can't get back, right? So. Make sure you're picking the right item. You break item. It goes, are you sure you want to break? When you click break, bam. Notice I get an item back. It's not always at level six. I so don't think it's always going to be at level six. But I get one of the items that I've used to craft it back. At It depends on some. It's a random level. It could be like level three item or level one or two. And I also get 2,048 power essence. And I believe it doesn't matter what type of gear it is. If it's legendary and you break it, you get 2,048. Okay, so I'll click OK here, and then I'm going to break the other one I made. So I'll break this one as well, and notice it gives me a level 4 feather, and I still get 2048 power essence. 
So now if I go back to my Power Up Power Gear workshop, um, I still don't have enough to go from a level 5 to a level 6, but it does give me more Power Essence. And so I just need to, like, over time continue doing what I just showed you or, you know, get more Power Essence from packs or events, and I should be able to power up my gear. Um, right now I'm at 5 for my Frost Lord Wielder, 5 for my Helm, and 5 for my Ball. And all of these Frost Lord's items, they emphasize defense bonus, which is what I'm after currently, right? And then I'm also, the sec second in line to get upgrades is my boots, my Glacier King boots. Uh, the reason that's second in line is, it, you know, at level 10, it only gives me a 20% defense bonus versus 25 on the other defense items, but it does give me some health bonus, but I'm not really after health bonus. So that's, um, so once I'm done with my, my Frost Lord's gear, I'll probably go and power up my boots. And then last in line would be um, my Imperial Mantle, because that only gives a health bonus. I'm not really after health bonus. All right. Anyway, so that's the, um, that's a quick primer on how to use the Power Up Workshop. And uh, just to show you, so how do you know when a set it has been powered up? I'll go ahead and equip my um, defense set just to show you how that looks. So when I go to my hero, notice that there's a little uh, there's a little numbers to the left of the picture of the gear, and that shows you that it's what the power up level is. So sometimes if you go look at other people's profiles and you look at their hero picture, you see a, a set of gear and there's little numbers to the side like an eight or a ten that tells you what level um, they've powered up their equipment at. So when you see that in a player, typically you know um, that they know what they're doing. They're actually maximizing the stats on their hero and their account. So they're going to be a pretty formidable opponent if you go to decide to go after them. So if there are any questions or comments, let me know. Just uh, hit me up in the comments or you know, message me in the Alliance chat, okay? Take care.